And there's some fun variations to play around with in Wheel. You can work on, where's the camera? Am I going the right way? Hey you beautiful people, my name is Brittany and today I'm going to be sharing with you all my flexibility routine. I get a lot of questions about stretching, how frequently I stretch, how I'm so flexible. Um, thank you. I, I feel like I do have certain areas that I've worked a lot on flexibility and definitely areas that I'm still cultivating flexibility. All these areas I actually feel like I'm really still cultivating flexibility and that's why it's a practice and I'm really excited to share my practice with all of you. One question I get a lot is have I always been flexible? Um, how long have I practiced this sort of stretching for? And the answer is no, I really did not used to consider myself flexible. I still feel like, I mean I know a lot of contortionists and I feel like I still have so far to go before I consider myself particularly flexible, but I do appreciate the level of flexibility I have. And as for practicing this sort of stretching, I'd say about 10 years ago I started practicing yoga and that's when I really started to get into more stretching. And then it probably in the last like three to five years, I've created my own sort of practice. And there's a few areas where I notice I keep coming back to stretching and those are the areas I want to share with you. They're probably I think five of my favorite areas to stretch. So I'll be going over middle splits, front splits, hamstrings in general, back bends, and hips. I feel like having balanced flexibility along with your other fitness practices is so important. For me I've noticed huge benefits, especially as I've been doing more strength training. And before I did that, I felt like I had a good amount of flexibility, but I didn't have the strength. And there's other facets of fitness to be considering as well, but these are definitely two that I think are really important. So I'm excited to be diving into flexibility with you all today. This is by no means a completely well-rounded stretching routine or anything like that. These are just some exercises that I've been enjoying doing recently. I love doing them before I practice acrobatics or at the end when I'm cooling down. I also really love just sitting in them when I'm journaling or eating or working on my computer. So it's kind of a fun thing that you can incorporate at different times. Another cool thing about stretching is that it's really minimalist fitness at its best. All you need is a comfortable surface to stretch on. Okay, let's get started. And let's start with middle splits because they're my favorite right now. A nice stretch to warm up with is the frog stretch, which looks something like this from the front. And I like to have my legs at a 90 degree angle, but some people like to bring them in like that. And it's what it looks like from the side. So basically, you're stretching your legs out, getting in that nice frog. And then I like to keep my body like this. Sometimes I go down a little bit. You can just sort of see what feels good for you here. And you can rock back into it or forward and just try to find your area of sensation. And if you're feeling like there's not that much sensation, you can scoot your knees wider. You can also have somebody apply a little bit of weight here if you're wanting to have a little more sensation. But I'd recommend hanging out into this for like a couple minutes. It's nice to have a timer with you when you're practicing these stretches. The main middle strip split stretch I do is just actually sitting in my middle split. So there's two types that I like to practice. And one is this like straddly middle split where you're sitting upright and just trying to get my legs, you know, as wide as possible. And my toes are pointed up. Sometimes what I like to do is put blocks underneath my feet or get on two chairs so that I can basically take the um, earth out from below me and let gravity help me out. And so that way I can get a deeper stretch. The second one, so then I would hold this for maybe like 90 seconds. And then this is one actually I end up holding a lot longer because I just like to journal here or hang out here. A nice way to get your splits is just by hanging out in them for a while. 
And then there's something called a pancake. This I'm on the bottom of my thighs and this I'm gonna roll on to the interior part of my thighs. I'm gonna let my feet roll down and then I'm gonna lay on my stomach. And again, I want my legs to stay about, you know, this nice straight line behind me. And I like to hang out here. Some people like to put their arms down like this. But I find when I do that, my butt pops off the ground. So I just hang out here. And again, if you want to have somebody help you with this stretch, you can have somebody apply a little bit of pressure here. Hips. One of my favorite stretches ever is pigeon. And I just love hanging out and sitting in pigeon because, I guess because I've done it long enough that it feels really nice for me. I like to bring my foot across here. My, my back leg is going to be straight out behind me and I like to walk my leg across. Some people like to have theirs 90 degrees. I like to have mine down a little bit. Depends on what feels better for you. And then walk my body down and just hang out here. And I usually, gosh, I can hang out here for a long time. I like to journal here, do stuff on the computer, or just chill out and like actually get my body all the way down. And there's lots of variations that you can do here too. You can play with bending the back knee or just sort of feeling around and stretching into it more. Usually I'll work on one side at a time. So instead of doing pigeon on both sides, I would probably start working into, so this really targeted this hip for me, but it also targets this hip. So that means I've started the opening for my front splits, which are not my favorite thing to practice yet, but at some point, I'm sure that will change. So to get ready for my front splits, what I like to do is come back up, bring this leg here, and I start to roll onto my back hip a little bit so I can keep opening here and just work on that a little bit. When I feel like that feels good, I start to work on the front hamstring a little bit. So. I'm just walking back onto my heel and straightening my front leg so I can feel this whole hamstring stretch here. This is a half split. And you can sort of roll into the side, forward. For some people, this is super easy and, and they're really open here. And this is, my hamstrings are probably my tightest area on my body. So, then when I'm ready, I start to walk this leg forward and maybe I spend some time, depending on how tight I'm feeling, I haven't stretched at all today, so I'm still pretty tight. I might like sort of roll as I do that. And eventually, I walk my leg all the way forward until I'm here in my front split. For someone with a full front split, this would be on the ground, and the back leg would be a little straighter and they would be square in the front. For me, still working on getting there, so just sit in this, I'd say about 90 seconds, and just like to be with it. It's intense for me, so I like to breathe into it, but also I like to point this toe because it feels like it helps me work this down a little more and a little more. Once I've done my front splits on both sides, I like to do a forward fold. Usually after I've done my front splits, I feel warm enough in my hamstrings to just go for a seated forward fold. But if I don't, I usually start at the wall. I really like to use the wall, especially in the morning because I feel super tight, not just in my hamstrings, but in my back and my neck. And it feels like a nice, gentle way to get in deeper. And so if I had that wall behind me, be able to like add some gentle pressure here. And then I can walk my feet closer and closer to the wall. I like to have my feet about hips width distance when I do this. And I also like this variation where I put my hands underneath my feet or grab behind my ankles and pull myself in. One thing I'm thinking about a lot while I do this is sucking in and up so I can bend over more. So it's not just pulling myself in, but it's lengthening my tailbone to the sky, sucking my belly in and up so there's more space. Then I'm ready to do my forward fold on the floor. 
just like to just sit with this nice 90 degree angle and my legs together and then fold over my leg. And I like to do that with a straight back for as long as possible and try to like really lay my belly on my legs before going all the way down. And sometimes I put something behind here like a block so I can get in even further. And you can play around with pointing your toes or flexing them. I feel like flexing them brings me a lot more sensation in my hamstrings, which is what I'm going for. I'm also always trying to straighten, especially in the backs of my knees, because that's another area I'm working on flexibility in, where I have this micro bend in my knees. Having water nearby when I'm stretching is really nice. I eat a lot of fruit throughout the day, fruit throughout, throughout the day, so I don't tend to drink much water except for when I'm doing stretching or acrobatics or that kind of thing, and then I notice I get really nice and thirsty, and it feels so good to stay hydrated. The last stretches I'm going to show are for back flexibility, and I really love playing around with these, not because they're not just because they're fun on the ground, but because what you can then do with that flexibility when you're upside down, like when I'm in a hand-to-hand, -hand, is even more fun for me. I'll show full wheel and then this other variation I like to do sometimes on my shins. If you feel like wheel is pretty intense for you, it's really nice to start with bridge, and so I'll show that variation first. Bridge is where you start like this, and then lift your hips up. I like to walk my shoulders in a little bit and take my hands, and you just Press up here, press your hips up to the sky. There's some fun variations. You can walk your hands underneath, hang out. It's nice to keep your neck straight up while you're here and then come down. For a wheel, same idea, but you're gonna place your hands here and then press right up. And there's some fun variations to play around with in a wheel. You can work on shoulder flexibility and like really getting your head forward, your chest, your chest forward of your hands this way. You can also, I'll show you what that looks like from this side. You can straighten your legs and bring them together. Feel that in my low back. You can also work on getting your limbs, your hands, and your feet even closer together. The last two back flexibility ones I don't do as frequently. I mostly just do wheels, but sometimes, especially in the past, I used to play around with these, so it'll be fun to see where they're at. One of them starts in camel, so that's from shins, and then I like to bring my upper half down as close as I can to the ground and try to make a, an even smaller wheel. And then the last one I'll show because a lot of people ask me about my scorpion hand-to-hand -hand, and that was something that I started practicing against the wall before I ever had it in a hand-to-hand -hand so that it felt like I could develop the flexibility before I developed that balance and awareness. Those are some of my favorite stretches right now. I noticed as I was doing them, I just wanted to add on more and more and mention other ones. So definitely share your comments in the comment section down below and let me know if there's other things you wanna see in the future. I'd be happy to make more videos about this kind of thing. I realized physical fitness is super important to me and I love movement and it's not something I've shared much of on this channel. And so I feel excited to open up that new territory if it's something that you all are looking for. If you want to follow my progress and Connor's progress in our three months of this hardcore handstand training, you can check out my Instagram. I'll keep posting pictures there and I do a lot of posts about it on my Insta story. Hope you're all having a beautiful day and I'll talk to you again soon. Mwah. Bye.